Welcome to NeuroCheck, the machine vision platform. In this video, we create our own process view in the process view designer. This video shows footage of NeuroCheck's premium license, but everything shown is also realizable with the evaluation license. Here you can see the final process view that we will create in this tutorial. The process view is the visualization of a check routine in automatic mode. It displays the check routine for the user on the production line. In addition to the process view, there is the control panel which provides the controls. There is also a designer for the control panel, but it will not be part of this video. We use the demo application from the default project as the basis for our process view. It is advisable to create a copy of the default project so that you can keep the original files. The demo combines several different checks in one check routine we will create our process view for the gauging check. In this check, universal joints are measured. Let's quickly go through the check functions. First, the image is loaded and blurred. Then the ROIs are generated and checked for their count. Finally, the joint is measured and it is checked whether the values are within the tolerances. So let's create a custom process view for the gauging check. The process view designer can be opened here or via the menu Tools Process View Designer. Above are the menus and tools for editing elements. On the left, there is a selection of placeable elements. At the top right is a tree view of all placed elements. So far, the process view consists of an empty screen layout Below are the adjustable properties of the selected element. Currently, the screen layout is selected. The process view that is set for the current check routine can be opened via the menu Process View, Load Process View from Current Check Routine. If we click Open, we will find the process views of the other example applications and also the standard process views. Since we want to create our design from scratch, we click on New. Let's start by creating our screen layouts. We click here to create a second screen layout. The current layout can be deleted here. In the properties, we can give the selected layout a name. We call our second layout page, System Information. Then we switch to the first screen layout and give it the name Gauging Process View. Let's give our first page a heading. To do this, we select the text label element and hold the left mouse button to create a box in the preferred size. We change the text to gauging of a universal joint. Now for some more basics. The selected element can be copied here. Several selected elements can be aligned with each other using these buttons. These buttons change the order of the elements. Elements can also be selected via the tree view. Next, we place a status element that will display the result of the gauging check. By default, the display mode is set to check routine result. Instead of displaying the result of the entire check routine, we only want to display the result of the gauging check. Therefore, we need to link the element to the gauging check. Such a link is referred to as binding. If we click here, we can select a check or a function of the current check routine whose result should be output via the status element. We select the gauging check and confirm. We place an image visualization element below our status display. This element is used to display an output image of a function as we know it from the result view. Once again, we add a binding to our check routine. This time there is the option to select multiple functions. The images of all selected functions are displayed one after the other when executed. Here you can select which of the result images should be displayed if the function has several result images. We don't really need the image title, so let's disable it. Good job! The most important elements are already there. Let's save our process view and give it a name.
For the gauging check, it is suitable to display a list with the measurement values. So let's add a check function list element. We link the list with the check allowances function. Then we give the list a suitable title. Additionally, we can set the column widths of the list. To do this, we specify a fixed width in pixels for each column and separate the values with a semicolon. The last column shall be hidden, so we give it the value 0. Now is a good time to test our process view in automatic mode. For that, our process view needs to be set up for the current check routine. Select the first element in the check routine and click on Properties. Here you can find the check routine specific settings. The process view can be changed under Automatic Mode, Process View Display. Here we select the Tutorial Process View. We confirm the changes and switch to Automatic Mode. Looks good so far. If the check fails, a target value failure is currently displayed in the status display. In our case, a check NOK would be more obvious. We'll quickly change that. The result message can be customized for the check routine, for a single check, or for a check function in the respective properties settings. We open the properties of the gauging check and navigate to automatic mode, result output. Here we change the text for a target value failure to check an OK. Let's go back to the process view designer. The most important steps for creating a process view have already been explained. Now we can quickly finish our layouts. Next we add some check statistics. To arrange the statistic elements we first place a group frame element. We give it the title, Statistics. Let's place a counter element. This element counts the total number of checks. To graphically visualize the distribution of all performed OK checks and not OK checks, we place a chart element. So that the graphic is not too cluttered, we can deactivate some text elements. We select Bar Chart as the chart type. Then we add a binding to the gauging check. Let's add an execution time element. This element displays the execution time of the check routine and the number of parts that could be checked per minute. Let's finish this screen layout with a progress display for the gauging check. The progress display shall visualize which steps of the check are executed with an OK. For this, we use LED elements. Similar to the status element, the LED element can display states. In addition to check results, register values and other data sources can be output by this element. We leave this setting to add a binding to a check function. Let's duplicate the LED element twice to display two more check function states. To finish our process view, we complement the system information layout by some elements. Let's add a system log for troubleshooting. A time display that shows the time of day. 
and a display for monitoring the memory usage. There are still many useful elements left that we haven't used yet. The file viewer can display various file formats. For example, you could use it to integrate a web-based user interface. The custom data visualization element can display special data types, such as a 3D image from a plugin. Great, our process view is finished. Let's save and switch to automatic mode. Before we switch, we change the start signal of the check routine to keyboard so we can start each inspection in automatic mode by pressing the assigned key. Our process view elements work as expected. If we switch to the system information layout, we notice that the system log is empty. This is because by default, only the active layout is updated to improve performance for complex layouts. This behavior can be changed. To do this, we switch to manual mode and open the menu system. Software settings. Under automatic mode, process view, display update, you can select that the content of inactive layouts is updated. We can also adjust the reset settings to suppress the flickering of the process view. Here we disable the process view from being reset before each new inspection. Well done! You can now design your own process views and use them for your check routines. Until next time.